Now, what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video. And today we will start working on our sub navigation. So the sub navigation is the thing that is directly under the main navigation bar. So we're talking about uh, this, uh, these elements over here. So a few drop downs and two buttons here on the right. And to show you what we're up to, let's just go to the finished application. And in here, you can see what we're talking about. So here are our drop downs. Right now, there's nothing special in there. But, you know, we just should just create them so that like our page looks like Yelp's page. And that theoretically, we could build this mega menu layout that they have as well. And on the right, we have two buttons. So that seems fairly straightforward. So let's switch to our code editor. And I think a good name for this would be sub nav for uh, sub navigation. So the thing like another layer of navigation. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it sub nav. And let's create a new file and call it setnav.js. And let's create another file and call it subnav.module.css. And in here, we will just create an empty uh, component. So we're going to say import react from react and then export function subnav. And then we will return a diff with subnav so that we have something to show. And we also need to wire this one up to our search component, of course, because, uh, because in here we only display the nav bar right now and we want to display the sub nav as well. So if we go back to our application, oh, just <laughs> hold on a second. I just have to kill the finished application and then I need to start this one. And we should see something at least. If we go to a search, yes, we see we have this text over here. But of course, we don't want a text. We want a proper nav bar. Uh, and one more thing, these elements here, like these drop downs we've just seen, like they're the same over and over again. So let's just create another component for this so that each of these drop downs is its own component. Uh, I think that would be good and it would lead to a nice separation of concerns. So let's go back to our code editor. And inside our sub nav, let's create a new folder. Let's call it sub nav item. And then we will create a new file and say sub nav item.js. And then another file called sub nav item.module.css. And in here, we will just create uh, an empty or almost empty component. So we'll say export function sub nav item. And then we're going to return a diff. We will say sub nav item. And we're going to close it up with a semicolon. And in here, just for fun, let's just render like a few sub nav uh, item elements. So sub nav item. I think we will have four anyway. So actually we can create four as well, right? Ah. Okay. Um, let's go back. And we don't see anything. What happened here? We go to sub nav, sub nav item, and sub nav item doesn't contain Yes, it does contain something and subnav contains this and we use our subnav in here. Yes. So why don't we see anything? That's a good question actually. If we reload. Ah, okay. Was well, a little glitch probably. Okay, anyway, uh, let's continue. So right now we have these elements and they are just divs and we want to have them in a horizontal layout and we want to have some drop downs. And since we already pulled in Bulma, 
let's just see if we have something for drop downs <laughs> and indeed we have so if we go to components and then to drop down you can see okay we have this standard drop down over here that's maybe not so interesting we have this okay ah but this is cool right you hover it and then bam you see this content so that looks pretty good so let's just grab that let's just copy it and let's go back to our um, subnav item and let's just paste this in here okay so i think i think we don't need the upper part here because this upper part was like this like we don't need that okay and uh, let's do a little bit of like this maybe and just for us to organize sometimes it's quite nice if you do the indentation manually because you see kind of okay this is how it's supposed to be organized and the next thing we should do is there's lots of class here and in react we need to say class name so we can just say uh, replace all and you can bring up this dialog in VS Code with uh, Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac. Okay, so here is something. Um, if you go back, do we see something? Yes. Now that looks already pretty good, I would say. So it's not exactly what we want to have, but yeah, we're kind of getting there. Um, well, let's see what do we need. So first of all, let's check the markup real quick. And we see, okay, this text, somehow we have to change it or we need to be able to change it. And uh, so it should be, yeah, somehow dynamic, right? Um, somehow we should be able to change the text. And let's just assume that we have some props. And in here we will just say, hmm, maybe uh, props.label. Okay, and if we go back to our subnav, then we can say uh, label equals, what was it? Uh, restaurant, right? And the other thing uh, was, I think we need to create a couple of these, right? Home services, auto services, and more, okay. Then home services, uh, then auto services and here more cool so with that yes you see the title is at least dynamic so that's pretty good now one thing though um, we need an icon here so if you have a look at this one you see oh there's kind of like an icon and we don't have that right now so what do we do well we go back to our uh, code editor and how did we do the icons i think we had something in landing page and search suggestions oh yes we had something here i think yes so this one we can just copy this and we can just go in here and then we have the label but before that we want to to actually display an icon i think okay uh we don't need this does this work if it's inside a button because i'm not quite sure if this will work yes it does okay so right now we have an icon but this icon should also be configurable somehow right because we want a different icon um, yeah, for different elements. So let's just, instead of this hard-coded FAS truck, uh, do it like this. We make this an expression. And in here, and then we're going to say here FA truck. And instead of this, we're going to say uh, props.icon. Okay and to subnav now we need to pass an icon um, and let's just say fa truck 
No, let's just say if a utensils. I think we had this. Uh, we had this somewhere, right? And then um, maybe maybe we can just say F A home. Oh, let's copy like this all over the place because we use this somewhere and then let's improve it later on because we still need to search for the icons. But I already see we're almost hitting the 10 minutes for this video. Oh, in fact, we already went over it. So let's just leave it here like it is right now. And let's just continue in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.